We just did some Christmas ornament sublimation testing on five different substrates. We tried wood, MDF, metal, and ceramic. And we'll show you what we found right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build and I make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. And this week, we're still in Christmas in July. It is right around the corner with a short 155 days. Yeah, and that might sound like a long time, but if you're a crafter looking to bring something to your craft show or farmer's market, take it a talk. There's not much time. We gotta get that stuff made and, and have it available in late fall. So this week, we're looking at making some ornaments. Ornaments are hot sellers at any craft show and farmer's market. So we're gonna make five different kinds of ornaments using well, five different bases it's the same ornament five different ways yes five different bases but we're going to sublimate them all so as you know we got this new eco tank printer this epson eco tank printer this year and we really think we could do some cool designs yeah. with sublimation and we want to put those on some ornaments so we're going to try that today Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed the Epson Eco Tank printer that we converted to sublimation. We needed some sublimation paper. We needed a heat press, so we have our Cricut Easy Press 2. Then for the bases or the substrates, we have some eighth inch birch. We're gonna put some polyacrylic on some, and then some we're just gonna use plain birch. We have some eighth inch hardboard with dry erase on it. We heard we could sublimate on it. See this side's dark, light, uh-huh. Then we have some white board that is on quarter inch MDF. We're gonna try that too. And we're gonna use these metal plates. So you can hear them. And these are coaster size, but we think we're gonna turn them into this diamond shape and put a little hole at the top and make them an ornament. And we're gonna use two different types of tile. These tiles were really popular last year and I look forward to trying to sublimate on these. We didn't have this option last year so I really look forward to adding a cool design on these. I have two different sizes. One is four and a half by five and a half and this one's three and a half by four and a half. So this one is just plain white and the other one has a gray look to it and a kind of a yeah, crackle finish. A crackle finish to it. Yeah, we'll show you that one up close. I'm really excited about the tiles. Yeah. And, and doing those. We haven't seen what any of this looks like yet. Yeah, so, so come along for the ride. We're excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Step two, uh, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna bring all the substrates over to the Glowforge and cut out a design that's similar to yeah. the tiles so that they all look alike. Yes, we're gonna Only the, the metal shape. one will look a little bit different. I don't know how to cut the metal. Yeah, I don't have that cool tool yet. Now we're gonna print our design. <laughs> we're gonna use that. That's what we decided was the best hand motion for printing because it was like I tried a out a couple of different ones. He did. <laughs> I, tried out, I tried out this one, this one, but this one felt most like a printer. <laughs> All right, we digress. Go. <laughs> if you remember, we converted this Epson Eco Tank printer into a sublimation printer. We're just using this and some A sub paper. There's some writing on the back of each of the pages. It's gray, like a gray watermark. That goes in the back and you print on the side that's blank. And we've created our own sublimation design for this one. Uh, I think it's super cute, but that's what we're trying to do is start to create some new, so we've got all these SVGs, so we're trying to create some sublimation images. I think we've got a cute one for this winter. So we're gonna use that same image on everything and do a little comparison. I think it's a good image to show the colors and the bleeding of the Overlapping colors. Patterns. Overlapping patterns. Yeah, things you just can't do yeah. with a Glowforge or a Cricut. The only way you can do it is through sublimation. Heat 
heat test. It's time for the sublimator. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? Cause he was doing it downstairs earlier. Time for the sublimator. <laughs> it's time for the sublimator. <laughs> We're gonna start with what we think will work the worst and work our way to what we think will be the best. So we're gonna start with the untreated Baltic birch. There's one. We have our images. Yes. We're all set and we're all ready. I'm stoked. Well, I'm not stoked on this one. I'm really stoked to see the, uh, the hardboard. But, you know, this one would be super easy. Yeah. We are using a piece of half inch plywood to protect our table so that it doesn't get wool warpy. I think. Do you want me to tape that down? Yeah, let's tape it. Have. We'll tape it to the plywood. Okay. You good? Yeah. I think so. I think it's good. Go ahead. I know you're playing it in your head. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the sublimator. All right, so I think all of these will be at 400 degrees. I think so. They're just different times for different materials. So for the birch, we're going in at 60 seconds, 400 degrees, 60 seconds. 400 degrees, 60 seconds, and we're in. Uh, you didn't put your meat hugger paper on there. Oh, I forgot the meat hugger paper. We're back out. Gonna have to use your what is it? Butcher paper? Mm. We only call it Meat Hugger now. That's the brand we got. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's kind of like Q-tips or Kleenex or Pampers. Well, it didn't actually <laughs> unfold, but that works. Going back in, 460 seconds. And I'm gonna lean on it. Is that pressure. heavy pressure or medium pressure? It's like medium pressure. Right, she battled somebody. Oh, you have to wait for the story. All right, we're ready? Ready. How do you think this did? I think it did the worst. I think it did pretty good. Not bad. Not okay. bad. Not impressed but not bad. All right, let's do the next one. You know what, this would be good if you had a really rustic oh, yeah. looking image. Yeah, um, I rustic. think I a... Mean, it came out. I think a good um, red and black buffalo plaid on oh, there. Oh yeah, yeah. Something real woodsy, rustic -y. Ooh, Yeah, you could even throw the buffalo plaid and then some vinyl over top. That mm -hmm. might look good. All right, yeah. let's do one that was treated. All right. This one we sprayed with some polycrylic. Just regular it, old polycrylic spray that we put over all of our signs after we paint them. Um, the, the acrylic in the polyacrylic is supposed to sublimate. So let's see how this does. Hold it down. Got it. I think this will do better. I think it'll pop a little more. My prediction. All Making right. predictions. All right, back that's with the, the plan. That's what we've. That's what we've read. <laughs> that's what research has told us. Let's see. Same 400. Same 60 seconds. Going in. And I'm down. Same pressure. So what story was I telling? Wow. That's, <laughs> you're a trash talk right there. <laughs> Paper came with it. All right, how do you think this one did? Better? Better, I hope. Ooh, I don't know. Exactly the same. I think the yellows came out a little better. All right, ooh, that's a little hot. Ooh, ooh, hot, hot, maybe, hot. Maybe just, there you go. All right, so this is the one with the poly. This is the no poly. What do you think? I think this one is a little bit darker. Well, it just yellowed. I feel like it yellowed. Oh, I mean, maybe. I would prefer. Well, I think the reds came out a little redder. Yeah. A more red. Yeah. And the whites came out. Look at that white. You can't really see the white on this one. I think that might be left over from... I tore the paper off. 
think it's stuck to the poly. All right, there. well, we'll look at it. We'll look at it when we're done. Here's right, the first right. one. There's the second, the second one. one. I think the quarter inch melamine will do next best. Next best, let's see. Now, you guys have seen us sublimate on the quarter inch melamine oh, one. before, and, that, and we know that that works. Uh, except this is a little bit different melamine. So what we used before was what you would get at Home Depot and Lowe's, which is melamine on front and chalkboard on the back. This comes from our wood supplier, Worth Wood, and it's more of a, it's a less shiny. Yeah, feels more like a paper or a plastic coating. Yes, so, and it does not have chalkboard on the back. So we're just gonna see how this one looks. All right, 460 seconds. Third verse, same as the first and second. Swing. All right, I think this one's gonna pop. Ooh, that one's toasty. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That thing is still smoking. I think so. And then look at that. Uh... Yeah, the... yeah, is okay. that just from the steam going down to the No, board? I think it's from the previous ornament. Oh, right, right. It's ghosting on the board. Okay, yeah, go. Ooh, Don't stuck. wiggle it. Don't wiggle it. It's stuck. Oh. Too hot. Too hot? Too long? Too hot to handle. Too cold to hold. Hmm. It's pretty stuck. It is pulling the paper up. The melamine up. Okay, done. Uh. I don't know, there's, there's nothing on here. I think, whoo, that's hot. All right, so we think some of the film from the paper is left on the melamine. I'm gonna try to use this dry eraser. Magic eraser. Ooh, I'm gonna yeah. try to use this magic eraser to wipe it off. Yes, it's definitely working. It up. Yeah. All right, that looks pretty good. It peeled up the melamine right there a little bit. It stuck to it. It's like plasticky. So it was either too hot or too long. I think maybe indeed it may be less time. Yeah. Maybe. I don't think it was stuck. But it looks good. It looks good. It does. Those reds really pop, and that white really came through. I like it. All right, I got my hopes up for this eighth inch hardboard. I think it's going to look the best out of the things that we cut on the glow forge. All right, what is this? Same 400, same 60 seconds? Yes, same 60 seconds. Same bat time, same bat channel. Bam! All right, you ready? I'm ready. Joe, woo, I knew it. That looks good. Oof, and that thing came that. off super easy. Yeah, that's Ooh. better. Whoa, whoa, that's hot. But yeah, Ooh, stop. Ooh. Ooh. All right, check that out. I mean, I had high hopes and this thing really came through. That looks good. Let's compare it. Here's the quarter inch and eighth inch hardboard. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? I think, yeah, that looks great. That, that looks is great. just like the image, yes. Yeah. All right. Now do you want to try one of these tiles? Yes. So these are still on. You think the gray tile will do worse than the white tile? I do. Okay. Can you get it off? I don't know. Is it stuck? It's peeling off. I just don't want to break anything. Uh -oh. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, that's cool. Let's do this little so you want to show that close up to one of your cameras here so you can really see what it looks like. All right, see all the crackles in it? Oh, I think that's gonna look really antique-ish. Really bring out the crackles in the leopard print. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if the leopard print needs crackles, but the tile is really pretty. All right. Ask 
asked me how long for this one. How long for this one? <laughs> is it 400? It is 400. 400. For six minutes. Six minutes? Yes, Dougie Fresh. Six <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a long time. Are I you know. sure? I, I mean, that's with the, that's with the A sub paper. So A sub comes with a heat um, guide, uh, a materials guide and heat recommendations and settings and times. And that's what it says for ceramics, right? That's what this would be. Yeah, ceramics, six minutes, huh? Six minutes, plus or minus one minute. Plus or minus one minute. That <laughs> is a long, that is a big window. That's like a two minute window. Did you change your timer? A lot could happen. To, no, I was just gonna count six times. Swing! Oh, looks weird on the outside already. All right, you ready? Let me. Oh my God, this thing is gonna be so hot. Don't pick it up, Garrett. Hold on. Use your tweezers. Oh! oh. That didn't work at all. Oh. Even where it did hit really well. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick that up and show you right now. <laughs> I will show you later. All right, what's this one, number five? Oh, this is actually number six. Small tile. This so. one's just white ceramic. Hold on, my spirits are down from the last one. <laughs> I was on a high. I was rolling on a high with the hardboard and that last one really took the wind out of me. Hold on, I need a minute. So this is for, whoa, that was just the paper. I scared myself. <laughs> <Such a wimp. laughs> All right, we're still going in six minutes. It's still tile. Six minutes, 400. All right, six minutes, 400. I think I'll lean on it this time. Ooh, oh, baby. even, ooh, even. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got to, yeah, okay. All right, I'm here. I'm here now. I'm just gonna take a nap. We lost Garrett halfway through. He couldn't keep the pressure. He couldn't stand still. I hired some help. <laughs> we still got a whole other minute. I could have been doing things. I could have been warming up for the jump rope contest. <laughs> the same as the other one. You don't know yet. Here, this this right here. Right here, right here, right here. This is... Oh. oh. Hmm. All right. <laughs> He's so disappointed. Hit me, me in the too. chops twice now. Me I too. Mean, I was super stoked on the I tile. thought those were really going to do really well. I mean, I was still... F I was still kind of remembering the high that I got from the eighth inch. And I thought I would relive it through this last tile, but it didn't happen. All right, so now our safety net here. This is a sublimation piece of aluminum. It's got the sublimation coating on it. Picked it up from Amazon. This is like our control. This will be what sublimation is supposed to look like. All right, this one is 400 for 60 seconds. Oh, 60 seconds? 90 seconds. 400, 90 seconds, and I'm in. Is that 24? You want some tweezers? That metal is gonna be hot. I'll just grab the tape. Ooh, maybe I guess some tweezers. <laughs> Looks pretty good. I don't know, man. I think the, uh, yeah. The hardboard gave this a, a run for its money. I think it looks very similar. I can't pick this up right now. Mm. It is way too hot. <laughs> it is, it is like 400 degrees. Well, that's a good idea. Here, I'll slide it to the end. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Who guesses it's going to get burnt? <laughs> All right, there you go. This is on the sublimation. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Going back.
back in though. <laughs> so the plain birch came out okay. It's got that rustic look. Right, with no, it's been not been treated with anything. So with no added effort to it, I think sublimating on just the plain wood gives it that rustic feel. So if you had a really rustic image, I think it might not look too bad. I also like how the birch looks with the polyacrylic. It makes those blacks just a little blacker. It does, the colors are a little more vibrant, but I feel like it's made it a little more yellow. So maybe if you had um, more color in your image, the polyacrylic would make it a little vib more vibrant. But it still gives it that wood grain look behind it. I think this quarter inch melamine that we got from Worthwood, it looks pretty good. I think it sublimated well and it's got a pretty vibrant image. Uh, but if you look at it next to the melamine hardboard that we picked up from Lowe's, I think we picked up this one up from Lowe's, uh, it's definitely not as bright as the hardboard. Um, and I think the hardboard... The hardboard definitely has my vote for cheapest, easiest, and best looking. Yeah, it definitely, I think that one came out the best I think it actually wood. looks better than the sublimated tin, the aluminum piece. No, I, I think the, actually I think the picture looks the same on both of them. I feel like... I think it looks a little brighter on the MDF. Do the, you? Yeah, I guess. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I hear you. I think it does too. And the tiles were a total disappointment. <laughs> I love the shape of the tiles. I love the you know, the concept of these tiles, but for sublimation, we couldn't get these to do what we wanted them to do. <laughs> I think we'll go with the hardboard, and I think I'll come up with a bunch of different shapes to try. Yeah, we'll put packs of these in our store, so if anyone uh, wants to purchase these packs, you can just pick them up in our store and do your own sublimation on them. All right, looks like we're about out of time, so if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we love our patrons. We will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. What do you think? I'll balance one of these little things. Well, why don't you balance a tile? I can't imagine that you wouldn't do that because it's glass. Yeah, it's probably easier. And it will balance. break. All right. <laughs> I'm in. Let's see. Shoot! And you broke it. Well, I did break the one that I dropped. <laughs> I broke the, the kind of good one. <laughs> I really didn't think I was going to break it. <laughs> I'll show you.